Because when we become a son of God, that's that spiritual birth that takes place. There is a new creature that is alive, that is birthed within us, that, that was dead previously and has now become alive. That spirit is the son of God. And the reason why we could, he can say that whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin is because that new spirit is what's born of God. And that's why he explains, for his seed remaineth in him. The seed is the word of God. That, takes, that, that brings forth the life within us when we are birthed. You know, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We receive that word. That new life sprouts when we put our trust in Jesus Christ. And that new spirit, that new man, that new creature is born of God and cannot sin. Because it is of God. Because the, the, the seed remains there. That's why the Bible also tells us to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. Because when we, as long as we still have this flesh, we can still sin when we walk in the flesh. But when we walk in the spirit, we're not going to fulfill the lusts of the flesh. Right? So it's very simple. I just want to just take a real brief minute to explain this because that's not even... It's important to just have this groundwork down. But what I'm going to be preaching on today is not just being a child of God. It's actually the, the, the reprobate doctrine. But it's important to understand very clearly what it means to be born again, what it means to have that new man, that new creature, to be a child of God in order to understand the reprobate doctrine. Because at a very high level, you think about just everything in this world, the way that God made everything in this world, everything is balanced. That's why there even exists these false religions like a lot of the, the Asian religions with the, the Buddhism and, and the Taoism and all this other stuff where they have the yin and the yang because there is a truth to that. There's a truth in the sense that, you know, the Bible says that, that whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. There's a truth that basically what goes around comes around. There's a truth that there's, you know, there's good and there's evil, right? There's light, there's darkness. Everything that God made has a balance to it. And just as much as there are balanced to everything else, when you have children of God, the Bible says there's also children of the devil. We teach and preach and believe that you can know 100% for sure, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that you are saved. Because it has nothing to do with your works. Because once you're born into God's family, you can never be unborn. That's something that's permanent. It's, it's an example that's given to us. Being a child of God is something that we know being a child in any family is that once you're born into that family, you can't change that. You can try to go to law and change things legally or whatever, but your blood and your DNA does not change the same way that when you're born of God, that spirit, that doesn't change. That's, that's there. That seed remains in you forever and God gives you eternal life but just as much as a child of God can be completely 100% secure in that salvation and that eternal life a child of the devil has the exact opposite they can be 100% sure beyond a shadow of a doubt that they are damned and on their way to hell and nothing can change that the same way nothing can change you from being saved Nothing can change a child of the devil from going to hell.